Welcome back. In this chapter, we're going to explore a popular formula which calculates the number of days between a date and today. We're also going to look at how to make a number with decimal places a round number by using the round function. Finally, we'll discover the formula for calculating the number of days between a date and today, but excluding weekends. Let's begin. Taking a look at my board, if I do scroll over to the left hand side, we'll see that I already have some date columns set up right here. And one of these columns does include my request date or when the video request was received. So what I wanna do in order to calculate the number of days since my video request was received, I'm actually going to use a function called my days function, which is going to return the number of days between two dates. I've already set this up in my days since request received column right here, which is a formula column. And so you can see in my formula builder, I have this already set up. I am gonna go ahead and just show you how we can get this set up from scratch. Um, so let's go ahead and start there. As mentioned, I want to use my days function. This function, as you can see in the description and previously described, actually returns the number of days or the difference between two dates. So in this example here, we can see that it is subtracting, finding that difference between one column and another column in days. So let's go ahead, I'm going to apply this to my formula builder. Now, what I wanna do from here is because um, I'm taking into consideration the days since received, I want to actually have a value calculating today, and then I'm going to subtract my request date from that. So in my functions, I have another function called today, which I'm going to use right here. This is going to calculate or give me the current date. From there, in order to set up this formula, we can see I need to add a comma and then I need to add the other column that I'm taking from my board, which is going to be my request date in this case. And so now if I set that formula, it's going to give me this number, including decimal places. And what I wanna to do to actually round this up is apply my function round so that I can get rid of those three decimal places. Again, in my functions, if we take a look, we have a round function, and this is going to round a number to a specific number of digits. So in this example right here, rounding 1.12345, comma three, this is actually rounding to, the, to three decimal places. So if I don't want any decimal places, I'm simply going to use a zero in my case. So let's go ahead, I wanna add it before my days formula that I've created here. And we can see that um, this formula requires um, a parentheses, so, so a, a pair of parentheses. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add the parentheses at the end of my formula. And again, now I'm missing this part right here, which is going to tell this function how many decimal places I want. So I'm gonna add the comma and a zero and set my formula. So now we can see that it has nicely cleaned up my formula and it's gotten rid of those three decimal places that I had originally seen. Now, let's say I want to take this formula one step further and calculate the number of days since the request was received excluding weekends. So in other words, just the number of work days or business days. To solve for this, similar to how I have this set up, rather than the days function, there is actually a function called work days, which takes that into account. So if I click in here to that formula that I've set up, you can see that I have a similar formula where, however, or rather, I've replace the days function with a work days function. Now taking a look at my results, you can see that it is actually accounting for the weekends. 
and so um, I am now including I am including the day that the request was received if you don't want to actually include that you can simply add a minus one to um, account for the days excluding that first day when it was received otherwise um, this formula should meet your needs in terms of just calculating the business days okay so this rounds out chapter four next up we're going to be taking a look at status-based multiple condition formulas